Now we're at uh, Archerfield Links, the feeder course, which this year um, will be hosting the second all lorry match play tournament. Um, I'm here with not just one lorry but three of them. Um, Paul here, Open Champion 1999, among other things. Uh, on my right over here, Craig, who is also professional. To my left here, Michael, who is off plus one. Um, so in some senses they are chippies off the old block. <laughs> oh, you've been up all night with that one, Jez. Anyway, today um, Paul is going to take on both his uh, sons. They'll be playing better ball, Paul his own ball, on six featured holes here from Archfield, starting on the third, which is a par four, normally about 390 yards, but for your tournament, they're talking about bringing it forwards, aren't they? Yeah, we have the option at this hole to bring it and play it off the yellow tee, which is where we are uh, just now. So it goes from uh, 395 to 296 to the front of the green. So downwind, like it is today, guys are getting three wood on the green, but no wind or side wind, you're hitting driver. As you can see, quite tight, but playing it forward makes it more of a risk reward and hopefully uh, a, a few more birdies. Okay, so a chance for someone to steal a march from their rivals early in the match. That would be the plan. Okay, well let's see how this match goes. Um, Paul, I'm going to give you the honour. Play well, but not too well. Where are we, Paul, after the opening round of tee shots? Uh, I'm, um, I fit it in the front bunker here. Uh, Michael fit it in the bunker next to me and Craig just pushed it a little bit. Oh, nice! Well, this is going to be quite tough to win then, Jess. <laughs> oh, steady as a rock. Next in for a wee half. So you'd expect to see quite a few holes halved in birdie threes there, do you think? Yeah, you would, especially if this is the normal win. Then it's playing downwind. Guys are going to be happy enough to get it run about the green. The short games now on the tour are so good that guys are going to make more threes than there were fours on this hole. So two good up and downs there from Laurie's senior and junior. Yeah, I had a little bit of a kind of downhill lie there to a kind of tightish pin, so I was pleased with mine, and uh, Michael's made a lovely three. Are you saying yours was a fraction harder bunker shot oh, than yourself? Absolutely, that's what I'm saying, Jess. <laughs> right, on to hole number five, Paul. Okay. So there we are, um, first hole half in birdie threes. It was. Good putt from uh, Michael here. Unfortunately, yeah. Put you under a little bit of pressure over that three footer. He did. But you're up to it. So all square through one. We're now on the fifth hole which is a par four of about 440 yards now. Um, but we're on a new back tee that's going to make its debut during the tournament. And that makes things a little bit more tricky in terms of deciding what to do off the tee, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah obviously the, the, the normal tee is uh, quite a bit further up, as you can see, and you can see they've done a beautiful job uh, building it back here. Back in the trees, nice little view out. The, the bushes on the right there are 295 yards to reach. So even no wind, you know, guys are hitting it in there, so you've got to be careful of the bushes down the right. But there's quite a bit of room there down the left, as you can see. All in play there, Paul. We're all, yeah, sorry, yeah, we're all. Um, Michael and I are down the right edge, and Craig was uh, lovely shot down the middle. And who's going to be longest? Well, I can, I'll say now that I miss mine a wee bit, just in case I get down here and they've hit it past me, but we should be able to see. Unfortunately, Jez, as you can see, the old boy is the shortest one off the tee, but that's why I said back there that I did neck it just a little, but the boys get, are in, in good position. Get your excuses in early. Absolutely, got to be done. So that's about... Uh, 10 yards maybe? Oh, never. Look, How do you see this? The pin looks fairly accessible today, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the wind is kind of more or less straight off the right with a pin in the middle. I'm going to choke down a little bit on a 7 iron. I see it playing about the 160 mark, so I'm just going to take a little bit of speed off a 7 iron and hit a low little short kind of shot in there, I, I hope. 152, 160, yeah, it's a little three quarter knockdown 7 iron. This is a Paul Laurie speciality, isn't it? Well, sometimes. So what have you got here, Craig? Uh, I've got one four five, the pin of a slight downhill lie. So I'm going to try and play the same shot, just kind of hold it off against the breeze. Same club or one less? Yeah, I've got one less. I've got an eight. Always good to have one less than your father, is it? Yeah, oh, that's that's the usual. 
And what are you going with, Michael? Uh, I've got 142. Uh, wind's a little bit downwind, so I'm just heading a little night. Who's in position A? Well, unfortunately, he hit the longest drive under Beg second shot, so that's not a good combination for me, Jez. But he's had a lovely shot in there. He looks about uh, 15 feet, so Michael's the closest. You can see the green sloped a little bit uh, front to back, so mine's just released quite a bit back here. I've got sort of 35, 40 feet, a little up the hill. It's a little left to right. Good one to hold, though. Oh, absolutely. As you can see, just over hit mine a wee bit. I thought it'd be a bit slower there. It rolled really well. Now I've got a little downhiller, right to left, to keep it all square. Oh, nice. All square. 